Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today we have sharpening of hand instruments from our hand instrument sessions. So as we all know, over a period of time, anything, uh, any sharp uh, a blunt or it become dull uh, because of its continuous use. So these uh, dull instruments or the dull cutting edges cause more pain, uh, it prolong the operating time and it will become less controllable and it reduces the quality and precision in tooth preparation. So resharpening requires little time and is very rewarding. So we have basically three types of uh, equipments to sharpen the instruments. One is uh, stationary uh, sharpening stones, then mechanical sharpeners. The last one uh, is handpiece sharpening stones. So stationary stones are block or stick of abrasive material uh, such as oil stones, they are stationary stones. A coating of oil is given to aid in uh, sharpening process. Uh, they are of uh, coarse grit, medium grit or fine grit in nature. So coarse and medium grit stone they use for initial reshaping of a badly damaged instrument or for sharpening other dental equipments uh, such as bench knives. So coarser grit used as little as needed for reshaping and then final sharpening done with a fine stone. So the fine grit stones sharpening dental instruments to be used for tooth preparation. The stationary stones, they can be flat, grooved, cylindrical, tapered. The flat one uh, used for sharpening instruments with straight cutting edge. The cylindrical one with concave cutting edge. The tapered uh, permit using a portion of stone with curvature matching that of instrument. So it can be a natural or synthetic. Uh, the stones so there are four types of materials most commonly used the first one is Arkansas stone which is naturally occurring which containing micro crystalline quartz it is uh, semi translucent white or grain color which is hard enough to sharpen steel but not uh, for carbide instruments uh, it is available in hard and soft varieties should be lubricated with light machine oil before using should be covered in the thin film of oil when stored next one is silicon carbide uh, which is a industrial abrasive um, which is available as uh, grinding wheels or sandpapers which is hard enough to cut steel but not hard enough to sharpen carbide instruments which is available in coarse and medium varieties uh, which is basically moderately porous require lubrication with a light oil to prevent clogging the third one is aluminum oxide which is being increasingly used nowadays coarse and medium varieties are there which is speckled tan or bromide in color uh, fine uh, which is white uh, less porous and it requires less lubrication the last one is diamond which is the hardest abrasive most effective capable of sharpening carbide and steel instruments. Diamond horns, small blocks of metal with fine diamond particles impregnated in surface held in place by electroplated layer of corrosion resistant metal uh, which is not uh, porous but uh, lubrication is required it is cleaved with mild detergent and medium bristle brush. Mechanical sharpness, uh, nowadays hand sharpening is decreased because it requires a lot of energy uh, and there is a lot of high speed rotary cutting instruments uh, the treatment honing machine is an example of mechanical sharpener. Uh, move a horn in a reciprocating manner at a low speed while instrument is held at the appropriate angulation and supported by a rest. So what are the principles of sharpening? One thing is the sharpen instruments only after when they have been cleaned and sterilized. Establish proper bevel that is 45 degree and the desired angle of cutting edge to the blade before placing the instrument against the stone and maintain these angles while sharpening. So use a light stroke or pressure against the stone to minimize frictional heat and use rest or guide whenever possible. Remove as little metal from blade as possible and lightly 
on the unbevel side of the blade after sharpening to remove the fine burr that may be created. After sharpening, re-sterilize the instruments along with other items on the instrument tray setup. Keep sharpening stones clean and free of metal cuttings. So mechanical techniques, uh, blade is placed against the steady rest and proper angle of the cutting edge of the blade uh, is established before starting the motor. Uh, light pressure of instrument against uh, uh, reciprocating bone which, it'll, which will be maintained with a firm grasp on instrument. A trace of metal debris on the face of a flat horn along the length of the cutting edge which is an indication that the entire cutting edge is contacting the horn which is a very quick method and handpiece stones used for instruments with curved blades. Whereas a stationary stone technique uh, stationary sharpening stone at least 2 inch wide and 5 inch long should be of medium grit thin film of oil lubricant placed on working surface 45 degree angle of bevel and cutting edge should be used to uh, the stone so the rules are lay stone on flat surface and do not tilt the stone while sharpening grasp the instrument firmly usually with a modified pen grasp so it will not rotate or change angles while being sharpened. So to ensure stability during the strokes, that is the sharpening strokes, use the ring and little finger as a rest and guide along a flat surface or along the stone. This prevents rolling or dipping of the instrument which results in a distorted and uneven bevel. And use a light stroke to prevent the creation of heat and the scratching of the stone use different areas of the stone surface while sharpening because this helps prevent the formation of glue on the stone that impair efficiency and accuracy of the sharpening procedure so we have a test to check the uh, eff efficiency of the uh, newly sharpened instrument that is by lightly resting the cutting edge on a hard plastic surface if the cutting edge digs in during an attempt to slide the instrument forward over the surface, the instrument is sharp. If it slides the instrument, it is not sharp, it is still dull, it needs to be redone. Only very light pressure is exerted in testing for sharpness. It cannot be overemphasized that sharp instruments are necessary for optimal operating procedures. So that was all about uh, sharpening. So we learned sharpening test and various uh, uh, sharpening instruments, sharpening stones, mechanical sharpeners and handpiece. Sharpening stones, we have stationary ones, basically four types, Arkansas, silicon carbide, aluminum oxide and diamond. And we have mechanical sharpeners and principles of sharpening and stationary techniques and finally the sharpness test so that's all about uh, the sharpening of instrument i'll come up with a new topic in dentistry and more thank you